Hey, welcome to Sigan Cook on Sanjeev Kapoor's Khazana. And I've got some simple dish, but with a twist. And that's what I love showing to people. Today I'm making a very simple cucumber raita. How simple it is, isn't it? When you hear this. But it comes with a twist that I like to do. And please note the recipe the way I'm doing. I'm sure you would enjoy doing cucumber raita at home this way from now onwards after watching this video. So I've got some great cucumber here. Let me just peel this cucumber. Interesting little peeler here. All cucumbers peel. Do remember to take out all the green skins because what happens is turns out to be bitter at times. So now the peeled cucumbers, let's just cut both the ends. Traditionally, we all do this. Rub the ends of cucumber because it is said that if you don't rub, the cucumbers are generally bitter. I'm following it, but I don't believe it because I feel that if the fruit is bitter, it would be bitter. Traditions, sometimes you need to follow it, right? So let's do for the rest also. One very important thing, which one of my friend's mom shared that whenever you want to have cucumber, do not cut and keep it in the refrigerator. Why? Because it contains gaseous properties, you know. And if you cut and keep it, it creates disturbances in your stomach. So when you want to use cucumber, just peel it and keep it in the refrigerator. When you want to use it, chop off both the ends, rub it and then use. So I've got here a bowl and a grater here. Now from the bigger sides, you know, the bigger holes, I'll grate this cucumber. I want nice long shreds and I don't want these seeds also in my raita. So just the top skin, cucumber grated nice and long shreds. I've got my yogurt here. Let's whisk this yogurt. So the yogurt is whisked. Here, now to this, let's add some salt, some black salt. That's what I like in my raitas. Black salt and salt into this. Mix it up once again. Mix this with the peeled cucumbers. Nice and creamy. See this? You see the yogurt and the cucumber? Now, the raita is noted ready. Like all those little twists that I do in my cooking. The next step here, you got a frying pan on fire. Pour a little bit of oil. Now to this, so we'll add some cumin, half teaspoon of cumin. You can add a little more. You like the roasted flavor, you know. I, I, I like the cumin flavor so much in raita that I don't mind using a bit more in my raitas. So maybe one teaspoon of cumin in it, nice and roasted. I've got some lentil, white lentil here. Let's add two teaspoons of this. Gives me a nice nutty flavor here. And let me take it away from fire. I've got some green chilies also here. So let's quickly chop some green chilies. Put the frying pan away from fire like I did. Sometimes when you're in a hurry to do things. So green chilies into my pan. Great flavors, curry leaves. And lastly, little mustard seeds also. Wow. And this is my uniform, unique one. And let me add this to the raita. Beautiful, isn't it? Flavor of mustard, cumin, lentil. Let's put this off. Wow. And finally, we also add some fresh coriander to this. Cool. Making the raita very cool. The meal that the Indians generally have, it's a thali comprising of various things. You know, we start off with little sweet, then move on to the spicy, to the spicier level. And finally, we finish off the meal with some rice and yogurt or raita. That's to cool down the tummy. So I've added some fresh coriander also more cooling effect to the raita, right? 
So let's serve this in a bowl. Let me take a bowl. Is this fine? Ah, this should be fine. So the raita here. Let's put this. Beautiful, isn't it? I love this. That's the cucumber raita. Garnish it with little fresh coriander leaves. And this one, especially for you, Aparna, because you have taught me how to make this raita. And I love doing recipes which are also taught by people to me. I like to share it with more people. Unique cucumber raita just for you.